Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Toronto, where I'm delighted to be joined by Ra Raman, Director of Data Engineering and Analytics at Zscaler. Ra, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Thank you for having me here. Yeah? Ra, Zscaler is leveraging the largest security cloud on the planet to anticipate, secure, and simplify the experience of doing business for the world's most established companies. What role do LLMs and conversational analytics play in your data platform strategy? At Zscaler, we pioneer the zero trust architecture and offer the most comprehensive platform that secure all the business of. Right? Yeah, you're right. You could say that we leverage the largest security cloud on the planet because that's what it takes to process 500 billion plus transactions in a day. Right? But let me talk to you about my role at Zscaler. Sounds great. So my role at Zscaler is to enable all our internal business function stakeholders like sales, marketing, people and culture, finance, everyone to be truly data driven, right? So traditionally what we do, we create a tax code and then we enable them through that, right? But that's not enough anymore because dashboard is basically a perception that has been shared as an insight. So we want to do much more for them. So this is where the conversational analytics using LLM comes into play, right? With this, you could actually build an intelligence rather than a perception, right? So we could allow the users to be interactive. So we could allow the users to seek clarification, ask questions. So everything can be possible using this, right? So what we are planning to do, we, this is gonna help us actually to build more user engagement and be more data driven than ever before. Great insights, Raw. How are you leveraging emerging technologies in AI and machine learning to improve data-driven decision-making? Honestly, the evolution of AI and ML is simply fascinating, right? So every day, you see new things, and it's actually helping us nothing but more innovative, right? So there are a few things that we are working on. However, I could share a couple of them with you, right? So the first one is conversational analytics. We briefly touched upon in the last question. So what we are doing is we are basically building an application called Customer Health to help our account owners to understand everything about our customers and prevent the job, right? So basically churn is nothing but like, churn is like a backboard of every SaaS company. If you lose a customer, you lose revenue and it impacts a lot, right? So with LLMs and advanced Snowflake functions like Cortex, so we are able to build an application that provides more dynamic insights on like, you know, hey, uh, right from the engagement of the customer to like, you know, what kind of what kind of support cases that have been raised, what kind of issues they face, everything at the fingertips of account owners so that they can act appropriately. That's one, and we are also trying to leverage LLM and data engineering space, right? So one of the challenges that we face as a data team is like, hey, how soon we could bring in the data from the business applications like Salesforce, let's just say, for example, into your warehouse, right? Because at times, it's very crucial for us to get the insights in near real time, right? So we all have been there when, you know, the source application or the upstream application changes something on their side, and then you have an impact on the battles and it kind of cascaded into like the consumers of the battles as well, right? So, so what we are right now, doing is, so we are actually leveraging LLMs to write dynamic queries in real time to capture any changes that's happening in, this, in the Amdarsin system and then ingest the data accordingly. So this is a game changer for us, helping us more and more to be to be uh, deliver useful insights to the customers in real, real time. Thank you for that, Ra. We're currently in Toronto at Snowflake's World Tour and the buzz and excitement is all around us. How does the AI data cloud our Zscaler in an easy and efficient way. And what are you hearing on site today that excites you about what's next? First and foremost, Rayad, I've been a biggest fan of Snowflake, okay? I really applaud all the innovation that the product is bringing, right? So the thing I really like about Snowflake is it makes things simpler, right? With, data, with the AI Data Cloud, I would expect nothing different, right? It made us very easier and simpler to access LLMs MLM models, everything in minutes without worrying about like, you know, managing an infrastructure and things like that. You know what's cherry on top? The data never leaves Snowflake. It's kind of helping us to establish better governance and God rights at play. And about today, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in Toronto. Such a great event. You could see the music everywhere. Like people are rocking everywhere. 
it's, it's, it's a very happening thing. And, you know, I could see a lot of folks who are passionate about data here, including myself, very eager to learn what innovation it brings in, right? So after hearing the keynote, uh, I'm personally looking forward for the sessions on Cortex AI search and also some ability to build native applications in Snowflake. Raw, it's clearly all happening here in Toronto at Snowflake World Tour. Now, before we wrap, as you look out on the coming months, what's your primary objective and what advice would you like to leave the audience on how best to harness these emerging technologies to future-proof their businesses? Well, Ryan, my objective will be to enter the scalability of our data platform to support advanced EA and ML initiatives, right? So this involves actually expanding our data ecosystem while keeping our costs in check at the same time, we want to focus on improving our data democratization and empowering our business users to leverage AI-powered insights without the need of actual deep technical expertise. I, that's, that's definitely on my objective. And when you talk about advice, so I would say actually three things. So one, ensure that your data infrastructure is scalable because we need to provide flexibility for this evolving AI technology, right? Number two, prioritize your data governance and quality, right? So these AI and models are as powerful and good, it gets based on the data that you are in this, right? So if the quality of the data is bad, like, you know, you won't achieve greater results, right? So focus on the data quality and the data governance at the same time is a key to make sure that like your platform is trustworthy and then you could also maintain the integrity of the platform, right? So the last thing I would say is keep experimenting and have fun, right? So create a culture of in uh, innovation to adapt your strategies to leverage the latest advancement that's happening in the market in the data space. It's pregnant. It's okay to fail, be flexible to it, and more importantly, have fun. Ra, thank you so much for your time and insights. I really enjoyed our conversation. Thanks again for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for having me. And for the audience watching, thank you so much for joining us on Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.